<laughs> when the downtown shelter first opened in 2004, it was built with 100 bunk beds. 15 years later, the arch accommodates nearly twice as many people. They're all bunk beds. Which is why they need these mats. Right now, the Austin Resource Center for the Homeless is only good at providing immediate help. Place to sleep, a shower, and a meal. But its executive director, Greg McCormack, wants it to do more. The city council has a plan that would take away 60 beds or mats. So when you initially think reducing the beds, it sounds like that you're taking services away. But McCormack says this way, the shelter can actually do more. Move out the 60 mats, move in more case managers, and offer more resources for the existing 130 clients. Right now, they are just cycling people in and out without helping them. I think we need a next step of someone who, after they get their feet on the ground, are ready for maybe getting a job, sustaining a job, that they need somewhere else to be for another six months, and maybe that's a transitional housing situation, before getting into their own apartment. But getting rid of 60 mats would get rid of 60 beds. McCormack recognizes the challenge. We are meeting weekly talking about what this impact will be because we know that there will be um, a reaction. Late Tuesday, Councilmember Ann Kitchen sent out a press release announcing a new emergency homeless shelter to open by September 30th. It didn't say where. In 2011, the other nonprofits actually worked together with the city and the county to put together one nonprofit that would work on homelessness issues 24 7. And that's Echo. And that's Echo. And Howard is the executive director of the Ending Community Homelessness Coalition. Echo helped the council come up with the action plan. And that looks a lot outreach and shelter housing and support services, addressing disparities in the data, effective collaboration, and the public-private partnership it, that's needed to fund this effort. All five points working together to hopefully reduce homelessness in our community. Jenny Lee, KVU News. Only men are allowed to sleep at the Arch. The proposal costs just under $2.5 million. The action plan is set to get underway April 1st.